We're based in the States, so there's a lot of talk, obviously, about Christian Pulisic yeah. and his role and why he hasn't been playing as much. But it's interesting, you look at the global feeling on him, and a lot of Chelsea fans have sent, well, we've spent £50 million on this player and he hasn't offered us anything yet. This is the sort of game which just helps build those stepping stones, isn't it? Yeah, well, Pulisic I was like... going forward. Yeah, I mean, you, you know... <laughs> The reason he's not been playing is because, and we've touched on it, is because Frank Lampard has felt he has, at the moment in time, better options for playing better. However, he came on at the weekend, and he had a he had a necessity. He made a big impact. He came on again today. He made a big impact. He can't he can't do any, he can't do any more than that. Following a couple of guys that, that, that cover Chelsea, they're saying. We expect this guy to be starting sooner rather than later right. because he's starting to look more, a little like the player that, that we know he is and Chelsea know what, what the, why they paid the amount of money they did. But whether Frank Lampard starts something at the weekend, I don't know, but if he, he can only do what he's doing. It's if you come off the bench, you impress, you change the game, you're going to give yourself a chance to get a start. And I think that's what the Chelsea fans and some of the media are saying. And you get the feeling that Lampard is the right sort of person to deal with that. Well, he's not persecuting them for, for, for his own, you know, personal gratification. It's not, he's not on the bench because I'm, I, I don't want to play Christian Pulisic. I wasn't here when he signed. Frank Lampard just wants to get results. Doesn't matter who it is, he'll put Tomori in, he'll put Zuma in, he'll put Kovacic in. He's, he's, he seems to be a big fan of Jorginho, who got uh, quite a lot of stick last year at times. He isn't bothered about who he plays as long as they get the wins. To answer your question, Dan, I, I, I do think Frank Lampard is the right man. Certainly has the confidence to do that now. Like, let's be honest, a, a young manager coming into a club like, like Chelsea, the easiest thing in the world to do would have been play more experienced players, play those that are tried and tested, regardless of results, because now if results don't go their way, it's, it's quite easy to pass that blame onto those senior players. But he came in, introduced his young players, stuck by them, and, and now you're getting the results. I think he's, Frank Lampard, not only the right man, but as I say, has earned, has earned the, the respect that if he wants to play Pulisic or leave him out or whatever he wants to do, right. he's, it's, it's, it's not going to be judged on that. Frank, I know you were saying before that you can't walk the streets of Paris without people stopping <laughs> you to ask about Christian Pulisic and when he's going to start for Chelsea. Uh, do you agree what the boys are saying in that Frank Lampard's the right man to nurture his talent? Yes, yes, definitely. I mean, uh, um, at, at first, you know, you would, you would think he, uh, he, will, he will play at the beginning of the season with Giroud alongside him. Uh, we didn't know Abraham and, and, and Mount. And now you can see that uh, Frank Lampard is speaking the people who are working hard uh, at the training session because you, you work at the training session like you're going to play on Saturday. And, uh, and people will give the best. We're going to get uh, credit for that. Uh, Pulisic is working hard. He wasn't maybe ready to uh, to uh, to play in the first eleven, but when he comes in, makes an assist like that, you get credits and you're going to get your chance as uh, very very soon. Uh, the season is long. Chelsea is doing great on top of it, great on top uh, in Champions League. So he's going to get his chances, and mm. and Lampard will give him the chance when he will have the time to give him. So, so he has to be patient, he has to work hard, he's still young. But Frank Lampard is a fair person. He's, he's, as the guy said, wants the best for Chelsea. And if Pulisic is getting very, very good, he's going to play, that's for it sure. It doesn't matter how much you pay for a player. I mean, whenever you go to a club, a big club, you go in to training, players can sense it. You've got to prove yourself right. to, your, to your peers. There's not a doubt about that. The one thing I would say about young Pulisic is it, it's never easy to go to London, to the Premier League, to a club like Chelsea, when you're coming off the back of a great season. It's still not easy. Yeah. He's coming off the back of a season where, effectively, he lost his place at Dortmund to Jadon Sancho and Brun Larsson. So the confidence was knocked a little bit, or a lot. On top of that, he's been involved with the US men's national team, who are going through a bad time as well and not playing particularly well. So he's not exactly sky high in confidence when it's... So it's already difficult enough to make that transition to the new team, to your new, your new uh, playing colleagues. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, people are expecting him to go in there and be this hero. And it, it's tough and it just takes time. And that's what we've been saying all along. It takes time sometimes to break through. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.